Hi, this is Tom Johnson at I'dRatherBeWriting.com. And today's quick tip is on integrating a calendar into your WordPress site. This is a common request that a lot of people have, and there's a lot of different calendars out there. It's really hard to know how to do it. So here I've got a site I was working on, and I've got in here the ICS calendar plugin. So if you go to the WordPress codex and search for ICS calendar plugin, you'll find this. And the reason I like this calendar is because it's going to pull from Google. So let me open up another browser here. Um, this is where the calendar originates. It's a, it's a Google calendar, and Google has an ICS format that can then be pushed out to, to this plugin and pulled into your WordPress site. And I find that this is a really good way to do it. Um, so here I've got a sample event. If I click this, uh, I can see the details, and I can even code a link in here. You have to manually code the link, but uh, it's going to render as a normal looking link. Um, but, but using this method, anybody can add events to this. So you can have a group of people adding events to it. And people can, can then subscribe to it or add it to their own Google Calendar. It's not just trapped in your site. So once I add that, well, uh, once you create a calendar, once you add the plugin, um, you will, let me show you the back end here. Um, basically, once you activate the plugin, you're just going to come to a page. Let me go to the pages here. You're going to go to a page and insert some little short embed code. So here's my calendar. And on this page, there's some short code, and it just shows the calendar. And here you can specify uh, which calendar it is that you're actually embedding and there's some other options and so forth um, I can't actually remember where this there we go here are the actual settings for more settings if you want you can uh, add more calendars and then you would have a different number here you can change some of these other things now one thing that you may really want to want to tweak as you're implementing this calendar uh, let's say that you, you want to change the height and, and the width and so forth. Well, you can access that if you go to the plugins CSS file. It has a specific CSS file that you can modify. And if you want to just do that within the interface, go to your list of plugins, edit the plugin, and then in the right under the CSS file, whoops, not that one, that's the tab CSS. Go to the calendar CSS. And here you can modify things. So for example, um, I wanted some more padding between this header. Let's go to it. Uh, there we go. Between this little header part here and the calendar. So I edited edited that. I just gave it some, some padding. Uh, there we go. So this, this style here, ICS calendar table TD, uh, I wanted I wanted it to be a little taller. By default, it's only 50 pixels. And so if you go to it, it was kind of kind of small. And so I cranked that up to 100 pixels and it raised it up quite a bit. So you can also define like a custom template in case it doesn't fit into your regular default template. So this is this is just a different display of the Google Calendar. There's You can embed the Google Calendar directly. And here's an example of that where this is just Google Google Calendar embedded directly. And I think this actually looks great. I, I don't think this is bad at all. But it does look a little generic because it's Google Calendar. So you kind of have a third party presence. Um, but people can subscribe to it. They can click this. They, and by clicking this button, they can add it to their own calendar. This is probably a superior kind of experience. Um, and again, this little link is, is if you go to the details of the actual Google event, it's hard coded, but here it renders it into HTML. Same with this little event pop up. So it's it's styled differently, and and of course with this plugin, you you have a lot more control over the styles. Whereas this Google Calendar embed is just like an iframe embed with some some parameters changed, but you've got some more control to kind of move about in terms of displays that I think is more functional than the default plugin. All right, this is Tom at I'dRatherBeWriting.com. Come check out my blog for more tips.